100 stops in 100 days to celebrate the game of Canadian football. It's the CFL Grey Cup Tour and on Tuesday, September 25th, it made a stop in Medicine Hat. Every year fans come to the host city to see the Grey Cup, and whether it be Toronto this year or BC last year. So this year to celebrate the 100th, we wanted to bring the Grey Cup to as many fans as possible. The train itself has three cars that are outfitted with CFL items and history that fans can go through. The first is a museum car that celebrates over 100 years of Grey Cup history. The next is a Grey Cup car that's kind of a high-tech car. You can use the Cisco touchscreens to scroll through ticket stubs and programs from years past and check out 18 Grey Cup rings that we have on display. And the third car celebrates teams of today. So every team has picked three players to showcase and show what their locker rooms look like. It's a great chance for everyone to come out, support football and Canadian football and everyone to see the heritage behind all of it. I think it's excellent. I think when, they first, when I first saw it and everything, I thought, uh, they really did something really first class and it's, it really looks good and I think people will really enjoy going through it. Uh, it's actually pretty sweet. It's the first time I've ever seen it. I mean, I haven't been able to make it to a Grey Cup game or anything like that, so I mean, to have it come through town like this and see it and get a picture with it is pretty awesome. I want to thank again the CFL and all the supporters and all the sponsors to make sure that Mesonet was on on the list of communities for the train to stop. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, and you look at the, the three high schools here, I've got their teams here celebrating today, and a lot of good footballs locally, and a lot of them will grow into uh, playing for the CFL. So it means a lot because not a lot of stuff has been happening lately for Mesonet. And Hopefully this will be the start of a lot more. Incredible, you know, we kind of expected it in the, in the big CFL cities, but not in the small towns. And it's actually been incredible to see how many CFL fans we have all over the country. A number of them also showed up at co-op on 13th Ave to meet this man, one of the most decorated athletes in CFL history. I enjoy that people come up and they want to chat a little bit and they want a picture and this type of thing. Uh, it just shows that, uh, you know, that some people remember me from the great from the great days and the young people remember what their fathers or grandfathers told them. So it's all it's excellent and I think if you ever get tired of that, then you should go hide. As you can see there's a lot of green sweaters around here, so a lot of Saskatchewan Rough Rider fans, but there's also some Calgary fans, so uh, this community is very, very supportive of football. Uh, we've had some kids that have done very, very well. I was with Molson Brewery, I used to come down this area quite a bit and everything. I always enjoyed the city and played a few rounds of golf here and everything, so it's been great. For Shaw TV at the 100th Anniversary Grey Cup Tour, I'm Dave Dawson.